Praise be to the Lord. Social media is an amazing platform to connect the people and to share our views. It has got a list of benefits. But here I am today to share my views on the topic Social Media Trials on Christian Faith. Christian faith emerged almost 2000 years ago. Since then, trials on Christian faith is increasing. We have to face harsh circumstances including death. We may be aware that recently a church was attacked in Nigeria during a Holy Mass on Sunday, killing many Christians including women and children. Do you know why only the Christians are being targeted? It is because the devil knows that if the world comes to know about Christ and his teachings, then everyone will start to follow him. Today, social media trials are increasing on Christian faith. This is because the world is influenced by social media and is under the control of social media. Of course, social media is beneficial, but believe me, it is the scariest place that the devil uses against Christian faith. Misinterpretations of the biblical verses are being published through these social media websites. False testimonies, false stories about Christian faith is mended and published through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram etc. This is all done with the intention to arise hatred in the minds of people against Christianity. Even the pictures of Jesus Christ and Mary are being mocked and published through these social media websites like Jesus holding cigarettes on his hands. This is what is being done against Christian faith through social media websites. Now let us think how these social media could be used to spread the word of God to the, those people who don't even know about this. We may post pictures and videos on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. We may upload videos about Christian faith on YouTube channels. We may even write blogs about Christian faith. Yes, it is beneficial to spread the word of God. But I think that social media should not replace real life evangelism with online evangelism. We may be doing these things for God online and we're thinking that we have a good relationship with God. This is the time that we have to analyze, am I misrepresenting myself as so holy online while praying for just 5 minutes in real life? If this is the case, then believe me, your relationship with God is in sake. You might be doing these things to get some likes and views. As social media is designed for this cause of likes, followers and views. If people are being encouraged and blessed by your stories and posts, don't stop, but really examine what your relationship with God is off camera. I would like to remind you about blessed Deva Sahayam Pilla, who was the first Indian layman to be declared a saint. He was born in a Hindu family and began to follow Christ and was killed only because of this reason. I am unaware how many of us would be able to not deny our Christian faith in such a real situation. This is the time we have to raise to fight. But our battles are not like the human battles. Our weapons are word of God. As a believer, we are not fighting against people or circumstances, but we are fighting against the devil behind these circumstances. It is written in Romans chapter 12 verses 14. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. So let us come together to overcome the trials we have to face as Christians on social media and become the saints of 21st century as told by our Pope Francis. Thank you.